The last two strategies underscore the fact that, as Rick Stiggins points out, the most important decisions taken in classrooms are not taken by teachers, they're taken by students. It doesn't matter how good the feedback you give your students is, if your students have no desire to learn, you're wasting your time. So we have to activate students as learning resources for one another and to activate them as owners of their own learning. And of course, many teachers get this. I've yet to see a soccer coach who thinks the best way to improve students taking of penalties is for the coach to show how good they are at taking penalties. I've yet to see a violin teacher who thinks the best way to improve students playing of the violin is for the violin teacher to show off how good they are at playing the violin. Violin teachers, soccer coaches, understand the importance of students being active in their own learning. However, when I walk into classrooms where academic subjects are being taught, who is generally working the hardest? The teacher. Somebody once joked that schools are places where children go to watch teachers work. And so the key idea here is that students should be active in their own learning. I say to teachers, if your students are going home at the end of the day less tired than you, the division of labor in your classroom requires adjustment. I don't mind teachers being tired at the end of the day, provided students are exhausted. So the important thing is students should be active. And students need to be engaged in their own learning if we're going to get the maximum out of classroom time. Now, some teachers kind of get this, and they swing too far the other way. So those are the teachers who use what I call the F word, facilitate. I don't teach, they say, I just facilitate learning. To which I say, so why are we paying you? It seems to me you're just hanging around waiting for some learning to happen. And so too many teachers just think that engaging students in some sort of activity is useful learning. And there are some really egregious examples of practice justified under the name of things like inquiry learning. We see students in social studies designing costumes for historical characters. And the fact is, they may be learning about textiles, they're not learning about history. Daniel Willingham, a psychologist at the University of Virginia, has pointed out that memory is the residue of thought. We remember the things we've been thinking about. And so the crucial thing when you engage students in their own learning and the learning of others is that they're thinking about the important content matter. And this is what makes teaching so difficult. Any old fool can stand in front of a class and tell students what they need to learn. They just will not learn it that way. And any old fool can entertain students by giving them cool things to do in classrooms. But what they learn may not be the things we need them to learn. The skill of great teachers is to give students cool things to do in classrooms that have been so carefully designed that they tend to result in the intended learning. But no matter how well it's designed, we can't be sure the students will always learn what we need them to learn, and that's why assessment is crucial. Assessment is the only way that we can find out whether what we've done as teachers has resulted in the learning we intended. And that's why assessment is the bridge between teaching and learning. Only by assessing can we find out whether what we did caused our students to learn the things we need to do. And that's why I'm convinced that a focus on a formative assessment is not just this year's new fad. Because the relationship between what did I do as a teacher, what did my students learn, will never get old. As long as teachers are focusing on the relationship between what you did as a teacher and what your students learned through this process of classroom formative assessment, you will be able to continue to reflect on your practice and move it forward for as long as you remain in the job.